for now, right? Would yeah. you like to that? <laughs> Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight for our Village of Elsa board meeting. Today is December 16th, 2019, and we're going to call this meeting in order at 7.31. Can we call the roll, please? Uh, yes, please. Anybody in the audience, please silence your cell phones. Um, Trustee Delzell is absent this evening. Trustee Zlinski? Here. Trustee Juarez? Here. Trustee McLaughlin is absent this evening. Trustee Murphy? Here. Trustee Navas Barza? Here. Mayor Ryan? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Thank you for those in the audience coming out tonight. Pretty cold night, and we appreciate your, your attention to our our business. Um, just so everybody knows, I did um, excuse <coughs> police, fire, and finance this evening. Everybody called out, not feeling well tonight and stuff then, too. So we'll, um, we'll get through. We'll have to get through without them this evening. Um, I will share with everybody, I did, um, that's all right, we'll, we'll, we'll do this at committee next week. Not, not a big deal. Um, I'll just go to the my, my, my report. Um, number one on your agenda was the approval to open the Village Hall late at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, January 8th, 2020, for a for the Village Employee Post Holiday Brunch, so we can get all the employees uh, who are on shift that day, and obviously everyone that's available is welcome to join us for breakfast that day. Uh, second was the presentation of a letter approving the Village of Elsip submission for the 2019 Cook County Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan from FEMA. Um, just so everybody's familiar with that in the packets that you had gotten. Uh, Chuck Geraci, actually all the uh, village departments helped out with this. Um, Public Works, Water, our village engineer, um, and a, I believe Robinson was in on this too, weren't you, Will, with the mitigation thing? Um, somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. And I know, um, obviously, our Director of Emergency Services, um, our Director of Emergency Preparedness, Chuck Tracy, uh, worked on this as well, too. We thank him for his hard work on that. Um, i just read this briefly. It's just thank you, um, thank you for submitting adoption documentation for the Cook County Multi-Jurisdictional multi Hazard Mitigation Plan. The plan was reviewed based on local plan criteria contained in the uh, number 44 CFR part 201. Uh, as authorized by the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000, the Cook County Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan met the required criteria for the Multi-Jurisdictional Hazard Mitigation Plan and uh, attached as a list of approved jurisdictions uh, please submit adoption resolutions for any remaining jurisdictions who participate in the planning process. Uh, the approval of this plan ensures continued availability of the full complement of hazard mitigation assistance grants. All requests for funding, however, will be evaluated individually according to the specific eligibility and other requirements of the particular program under which the, the application is submitted. We encourage the participating jurisdictions, and there's, there's a whole list of other communities, almost 75 of them. Uh, we encourage the participating jurisdictions to work with Cook County to follow the plan's schedule for monitoring and updating the plan and continue their efforts to implement the mitigation measures. The ex expiration of date of the Cook County multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan is September 25th, 2024. The plan must be reviewed, revised as appropriate, resubmitted, and approved no later than the plan expiration date. Again, please pass on our congratulations to the approved jurisdictions for completing th this significant action. If you or the other participating jur jurisdictions have any questions, please contact uh, Lorraine Rays. So again, I, I appreciate everybody's participation. That was uh, Julie McCarthy and she's the chief risk analyst of the branch mitigation division. And uh, that's all I had for this evening. Next is the clerk's report. Uh, thank you, Mayor Ryan. Approval of the November uh, 2019 FOIA report. There were 16 FOIAs. That is all, Mayor Ryan. Okay, thank you. Uh, next attorney's report, we have Mike Kankar with us. No report, sir. All right, Mike. 
Uh, engineer's report, Will. Um, I have a request for approval to award the 2019 MWRD high priority cured in place pipelining improvements, CDBG number 1807-001 to the low bidder in situ form technologies USA Incorporated for the total amount of $484,876.00. Um, 200000 of this is paid for by the county. Uh, it was part of the grant that the village received back in February of last year. Um, and the remainder was approved as part of the uh, budget for this year. So that's all I have. Thank you for your help getting that too. Well, I appreciate it. I'm just making a note that's paid for by Cook County, is that right? Correct. Okay. When do you uh, when do you think we're going to do this work in the spring? Uh, they can actually work on it in the winter. Really? Their their deadline is February. We might have to request an extension. Okay. Uh, but we're trying to set up the pre-con, which will probably happen the beginning of January. Okay. So we'll find out in the next couple of weeks. Those uh, lines that we're going to um, the lines that we're going to reline, uh, just for uh, everybody's edification, these are what do we say? These are sewer or um, drain? Sanitary sewer. Sanitary sewer. Correct. Okay. Very good. And those are those are concrete right now anyway, then too, right? Um, in most cases. Clay. For the most part, I think some of them are PVC. Some of them. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Uh, next is the uh, public forum. Did anyone in the audience wish to address the board this evening? Nobody. Then we'll move on to the standing committee reports, finance committee. Uh, that would be Trustee Navas Farza, please. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little under the weather. <laughs> Request for approval of a list of payroll dated December 6, 2019, totaling $517,053.56. <coughs> Item 2, request for approval of accounts <coughs> payable dated December 16, 2019, totally, totaling $575,871.51. That is all. Okay, thank you. Next, the Fire Committee report, Trustee Murphy. I have approval of the Fire Prevention Bureau November 2019 monthly activity report. I have approval of the National Fire Incident Reporting System November 2019 monthly activity report. <clears throat> and I have the, um, the Elsa Fire Department received an outstanding call from South Cook County EMS system for a save of a cardiac arrest patient on October 16th. The following personnel responded to the call, Deputy Chief Richter, Lieutenant Huffnagel, Firefighter and Paramedic Cordelette, uh, Hanla Hanlahan, McCarthy, Pavlak, and Memenshimmer, and Galvin. So uh, kudos to those guys for uh, making that save, and uh, great job to all of them. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I know when they get a full cardiac arrest like that, both houses come out to do everything we can to help those, those uh, people. So nice job by them. Thank you. Um, next is the police, police and Traffic Safety Report Committee. No report this evening, Mayor. Okay. Public Work and Boat Launch, Trustee Juarez. I have an approval of the Public Works Department. I have an approval of the Public Works Department November 2019 monthly activity report. That's all, Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Sewer and Water, Trustee Navas Barza. <laughs> approval of the Sewer and Water Department November 2019 monthly activity report. Item two, approval to purchase water meters and FlexNet radios at a cost not to exceed $61,075.00. This purchase is for the ongoing replacement of residential water meters and has been appropriated for in the FY20 budget. <coughs> Excuse me. Approval of the proposal from Illinois Pump Inc. for the removal, repair, and reinstallation of one <coughs> J-line vertical turbine pump at a cost not to exceed $16,280. $286.00, and that is all, Mayor. Okay, thank you. The uh, Building uh, Building and Health uh, Committee, Trustee Zielinski. I have the approval of the Building Department <coughs> November 2019 monthly activity report. That's all this evening. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Human Resource and Insurance, Trustee Murphy. No report tonight, Mayor. 
Special Committee Reports, Economic Development, Trustee Nava Esparza. Thank you, Mayor. Um, at this time, I'd like to make a motion to remove the um, items from the agenda. Just uh, to my knowledge that some items need to be ironed out before it's brought to a vote. Uh, I would agree. We're actually, um, yeah, and that's actually going to go to the um, the interested parties attorney yet and everything else then too. So, um, but this, uh, okay, so I understand what you're saying. Uh, do we motion to with, uh, yeah. to table? You can just take no action on it. It's fine. Okay. Okay. And that is all I have tonight. Um, you want to do the same with number two? Yes, both for both for um, item one and item two. Okay. That is J and K on the um, consent agenda. Thank you. Anything else? That's all okay. this evening. Uh, Next, letter B, Village Properties uh, Committee. Um, I have an approval to award the Heritage One refused contract to Republic Services, the lowest bidder, at the following annual cost breakdown. 2020 at $17,822.28. 2021 at $18,356.88. 2022 at $18,907.56. 2023 at $19,476.84. 2026 optional at $21,280.32. 2027 also optional at $21,918.72. Item two, I also have an approval to award the Heritage II refused contract to Republic Services, the lowest bidder at the following annual cost breakdown, 2020 at $36,553.80, 2021 at thirty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and thirty-six cents, twenty thirty-six cents, twenty twenty-two, at thirty-eight thousand seven hundred and seventy-nine dollars and eighty cents, twenty twenty-three, at thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and forty-three dollars and eight cents, twenty twenty-four, at forty-one thousand one hundred and forty-one dollars and twenty-eight cents, twenty twenty-five, at forty-two thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars and forty-eight cents. 2026 optional at $43,646.64. 2027 also optional at $44,955.96. That's all, Mayor. Thank you. So, again, uh, for everyone trying to keep up with that score, they, um, these are five year contracts and they have an optional two years at the end. Too, They're so. six year contracts. Pardon me? Six year contracts. These, I thought we said 20, 21, five. 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we Rogers not here this evening. I thought we were, I thought we said five. Okay, six year contract with um to your option. Okay. Six and two. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember originally we were talking five, so okay. No problem. Next, ordinance legislation, Trustee Zelensky. No report this evening. Okay. Uh, IT committee? No report tonight, sir. All right. Planning, zoning, and licenses, Trustee Juarez. I have an approval of a list of licenses dated November 25th through December 9th, 2019. That's all, Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> uh, board, anyone have any pre presentations, petitions, or communications? None? Then can I... Uh, did anyone want to rem remove anything from the consent agenda? Mayor, I'd like to remove G. Um, I think that's more reporting. Um, it is, and that didn't need to be voted on. That's that's the same uh, report you just gave. And then, um, Trustee Nava Sparza, you had pulled... Um, uh, J and K. J and K. Anybody else? All right, thank you. Again, a motion to establish a consent agenda. Agenda. So moved. Second. 
roll call number one to establish the consent agenda. Again, items G as in George, J as in Jump, and K as in Kite have been removed as there is no action to be taken at this time. Trustee Delzell is absent. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? Yes. Trustee McLawhorn is absent. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Trustee Navas Barza? Yes. Motion carries to establish. Thank you. Can we get a motion then to uh, approve the consent agenda as presented? Motion to approve. Second. Roll call number two is to approve the consent agenda as uh, presented. A letter E is an approval of a list of payroll dated December 6, 2019, totaling $517,053.56. Letter F is in Frank is approval of a list of accounts payable dated December 16, 2019, totaling $575,871.51. Again, roll call number two to approve the consent agenda. Trustee Dalzell is absent. Trustee Zielinski? Yes. Trustee Juarez? Yes. Trustee McLawhorn is absent. Trustee Murphy? Yes. Trustee Navas Barza? Yes. Motion carries to approve the consent agenda. Thank you. Uh, trustees, did anyone have any unfinished business? How about any new business? Did we uh, want to talk about the inquiry about closing Village Hall early on Monday? That's right. The clerk mentioned um, we are going to, we have a, um, good. Uh, we so have no meeting see. next week, Monday, uh, because there are five Mondays in the month of December, and there had been an inquiry. And a reminder, Village Hall is closed on Tuesday, Christmas Eve, and on Wednesday, Christmas Day. There had been an inquiry if, um, because there's no meeting next Monday, if we would be closing the Village Hall early that day. Um, for my two cents, it is my opinion, since we will be closed for two full business days following that, that we should not close early that day because there may be residents that would need to take care of business because we're, they're going to lose two business days during the week anyway. I don't see a point in closing uh, Village Hall earlier on Monday. So Certainly I'd be interested in polling the board and see what, what, what your thoughts were, yay or nay. It doesn't matter to me either way. I, Okay. Which, um, I can see your point. If someone takes time off to to do something here in the village. Okay. And I agree with Sue. I agree. They keep it open. Keep it open. Okay. okay. Thank you, Chuck. No problem. All right. So that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, uh, regular hours uh, next, month, next month. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Right. Um, that's all we have. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much, folks. We'll adjourn this meeting at uh, 7.50. Everybody enjoy your holiday. And um, I tell you, again, stay warm. You know, it's with this change of weather. Have a great evening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>